Yo, what's up, dudes? How's it going? So, um, this may look very familiar, <laughs> but it's actually not the same as the last guitar I reviewed. This is a Jackson Custom Shop. Still has the old tagger on it. Um, this is the official Jack Butler model. And as you can see, when I come up here, rather than just saying, you know, made in USA, it has that nice little custom shop, uh, you know, as a part of it. So, again, I that, that last guitar is such a mystery because I know what the Jack Butler guitar is. It's this one. This is the Jack Butler. That other one is just, I don't know, Jack Butler-ish? Like, this one doesn't have the plate on the back. That's that's what it's supposed to be, right? It's supposed to be no plate, no screws. Just like the real uh, Jack Butler model. But for some reason, that other one, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this was a lot more money. This was like double the money of that other guitar. Um, and maybe that's the difference between production Jackson and custom shop Jackson. I don't really know. Uh, I don't have a ton of experience with Jacksons. I can tell you this much, though. I like this guitar better than the other one. I think this one, this guitar definitely feels a, a little bit nicer. <laughs> I think the pickups roll off a little better. So as I had mentioned in the other one, Quartison Maple Neck, you know, genuine Floyd Rose. Um, you know, these are handmade in the Jackson Custom Shop factory. Uh, alder body, a um, couple of, uh, it's a JB, uh, you know, uh, jazz set, or JB 59 set maybe in this one, uh, if I remember correctly. Of course, it has the super cool pearl paint. Well, that's sort of what you're you're getting there. The uh, you know that killer paint job, very much like um, if you if you saw the orange uh, one, that sort of like metallic flake. Uh, I think they made a silver in the Charvel line. Uh, very similar in the style of paint, large metallic flakes. Um, very much like a dune buggy or something like that. I think that's what we were saying about the other one. <laughs> But the, the neck on this is so... So nice, so smooth. Um, it's a gun stock oil finish, and boy, you can really feel that. Uh, kind of reminds me of my Fender Select, you know, in terms of that finish, that beautiful, like, you know, oiled finish instead of the, um, the, the coat uh, that you would normally get a... Usually it's sort of like a matte finish, um, uh, you know, polyester or polyurethane is normally what the lower end guitars are sealed with. But this is, uh, according to the website, sealed with a uh, gunstock oil and it's just a straight up oiled neck. You can really, the smoothness is so nice. <laughs> Of course, you know, that doesn't come cheap. <laughs> you know, these are up there. You know, you could expect to pay around uh, three Gs uh, for one of these. But um, you will get an attention to detail unlike a lot of guitars. <laughs> you know, it's really, really nice. Uh, I mean, you could just tell as soon as you picked it up the, 
you know, the, the quality is, is so gorgeous. <laughs> The bigger question is, like, compared to that other Jackson, if you saw my last video where I talked about the Jackson made in USA, but it doesn't say custom shop. It's just the weirdest thing. Uh, we have two guitars side by side that are nearly identical. Um, bridge color is different. This is a chrome bridge. The other one was a black bridge. Um, they both have Seymour Duncan pickups. We weren't sure about the other one, but as I was shooting the video, I could literally see the Seymour Duncan logo had been uh, taken off with looks like a very light sandpaper and then buffed out a little bit. You can see the outline of the word Seymour Duncan. So clearly it had Seymour Duncans. We weren't sure when we first looked at it. Um, so they're very, very similar. Um, the biggest difference is the, the color of the hardware. Uh, and this literally says the words custom shop you know, made in USA, where the other one just says made in USA. So a little different. This is new. This is, I believe, one of five made. So kind of rare. <laughs> Let's see what the cereal. All right. So 9048. I don't, I don't know how to read that. So if it's, I know that these are sort of like brand new either this year or last year. These are, this is like a, yeah, San Dimas Jack Butler replica. He bought this at, uh, at my favorite local store, Matt's Music. I'm a big fan of Matt's uh, store. He, he's got a he's got a good one there. So let's come up. We'll take a little little closer look at it. Yeah, but there there you get the custom shop. You ready? You ready? Yikes! <laughs> All right, you ready? Hold on. You. <laughs> That's how you know it's that's how you know it's Bobby's. The MSRP. <laughs> yeah, this is before you you go say, well, I didn't know you bought a Jackson custom shop. Where are you getting all this crazy money? It's not mine. <laughs> but you watch in three months and so I'll say, hey, whatever happened to that custom shop Jackson you owned? I I, I didn't. Never owned it. This is Bobby's. It's actually Sunday. Usually he's here on a Saturday, but this 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 week was a Sunday. Actually, he hasn't been by in like three months, so it was good to catch up. All right, guys, there you have it. Jackson Custom Shop. Jack Butler San Dimas in sparkle red. Pretty nice. All right, guys. As always, rock on.